Hello guys, today we're going to be looking at the CH32X035 and in particular one feature of it which is a PIOC or a programmable input output controller. Now the programmable protocol IO controller uh, for this chip uh, it contains two of them and uh, they support hardware encoding, decoding, PWM and uh, Manchester modulated big data. So let's start with the need for a PIOC. We need PIOC because smaller uh, MCUs have limited power, uh, limited computational power. So resource management is critical. So sometimes if we are repeating a process over and over again, we don't want it to be locking up or requesting processing from the main thread. So by using PIOC, we leave the main CPU uh, to do the most critical stuff and the rest of the redundant stuff can be done with the PIOC. To demonstrate this we're going to be using uh, the PIOC driver by uh, WS2812. Uh, as you can see here the WS2812 uh, connects uh, these RGB uh, LEDs as a chain uh, through an input output signal and uh, in this case in particular uh, to send a code of one uh, into the system we uh, set the signal on high for 0.35 microseconds and low for 0.8 and to send a code of zero is uh, we send a high signal for 0.7 microseconds and a low signal 4.6 and to reset its law for more than 50 microseconds. Now, uh, in so as you can see with a typical MCU, either via SPI or pulse width modulation, you would send uh, this signal here, uh, the second one, uh, but with the PIOC, it's still the same amount, but uh, way less uh, memory is used. Uh, in our demo, we used 960 RGB LEDs and then we can program each light cycle to display the values we need. Uh, we also can use different libraries to address different color schemes. Uh, in this case, we used the RGB color scheme and uh, HSV in order to see how to play around with both. Okay, so here's an example of the PIOC code we used. Uh, most of the code, almost all the code is written in assembly, so uh, we do not write uh, in the main uh, format we used to, but uh, as you can see from this diagram, we have about 4 kilobytes of memory which we allow the EMCU or the PIOC to to acquire. So the PIOC ends up collecting about uh, 4 kilobytes in memory and the rest belong to the main core, the, in our case the Chink core. So now I'm going to show you the demonstration we did and uh, I hope you can see and uh, As we can see the USB here uh, and also we are going to be connecting one pin for data only. So it's only going to be one pin, in this case PIOC1, which is going to be driving all of the information to our chain of RGB LEDs. Uh, as we can see there are many light patterns. So for example this one is a single loop uh, for all 960 lights. And uh, the, the other patterns include also uh, this one, it's a much slower double loop. And so you can just play with the code uh, and uh, configure how you want to arrange this. Uh, for these color changes, uh, you mainly want to work with uh, HSV. And then lastly, this is the double loop uh, cycle. It goes uh, between both of the wires. and 
you can get creative uh, to program them however you like. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we are now turning each light individually on and off up until we finish the entire circuit. Okay, that's it. That's the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, you can reach out to us via email or on Twitter uh, via Patrick Yang. That's it for this video.